Can the government control the weather? It's a wild conspiracy theory, or is it? A recent article on TheBlaze.com details cloud seeding and how humans have been attempting to control the weather for decades. Here to discuss is Peter Giedel. He's the managing editor for Return and Frontier magazine. And Peter, I mean, all right, let's just start with the basics, right? Because we don't want to get into to everything right off the bat. So just what is cloud seeding and how does it modify weather patterns? Well, it's interesting because it sounds like some sort of crazy Alex Jones level conspiracy, but um, Cooper Williamson, the writer who uh, worked on it with me on this article, I mean, we were digging into it and it, it's actually a really fascinating story. It was invented by Kurt Vonnegut's brother back in the 40s. And actually, uh, Cy Hirsch did a lot of reporting that the U.S. government was trying to use it during Vietnam to increase the monsoons against the North Vietnamese. So it, the technology itself has actually been around for a while. And we're starting to see more instances of the Chinese, the Saudis, all kinds of different groups using it. So, uh, I mean, first off, we're going to have to get into that more because <laughs> most people, I think, like me, were this isn't real, is it? Uh, a lot of people have that impression because they just haven't heard about it before. But what are the primary purposes of this in the last, you know, however many decades we've been doing it? Um, it it's really more... It, Instead of thinking of it as controlling the weather, it's kind of augmenting the weather or making it a little worse so they can shoot uh, sodium iodine or, uh, or uh, um, silver iodine, sorry, or and other particulates up into the air. And basically it's trying to cause the rain to fall out of it so it can increase storms, increase rainfall. They can't create rain out of thin air when there's nothing there. But it's it can cause, I mean, we saw in Dubai, it can cause flooding. Um, it was used during the Olympics. The Chinese used it to keep the rain away during the 2016 Beijing Olympics. So it's a new technology that we don't know a lot of the long-term ramifications of what it can cause, what the environmental effects, and whether or not we should be trying to control and affect the weather. Yeah, when I hear that, I, I mean, my brain is just like, okay, which governments are doing it and what are they trying to use this for? And you mentioned a couple different countries. Mm -hmm. So dive into that a little bit more. Well, the Chinese were definitely, they bragged about using it during the Beijing Olympics to, first they used it to cause more rain to clear the pollution, and then they kept the rain away. So it can also be used to make storm, to lessen storms, which people have th talked about using it to, I guess, fight hurricanes in a way. But it's still, we're still very much in a gray area of what governments, and especially our own government, are using it in, the, in today's world. So if you are a subscriber, uh, a Blaze Unlimited subscriber, you get a magazine called Frontier. And in that magazine are some of our, uh, one of my favorite articles is, is written by Guy Isaac Simpson, who Peter sent to El Segundo, California, uh, to a, a go to a bunch of young guys with startups, crazy, wild startups to, you know, do amazing things. And one of those startups, right, is is called Rainmaker, I believe, uh, Corporation. And at some point, uh, I'm sure we'll have him on the air and, and do some interviews with him, but you can read a little bit about it in Frontier. Um, so this is not only real, this is, a, this is a guy, for instance, who I think wants to perfect, my understanding, wants to perfect this technique to make it rain, right? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> can we still say that? Yeah. Not. <laughs> uh, to actually make it rain, I, I think, for the sake of uh, you know, smaller regions and farming. Um, so this is trying to help, you know, and, and obviously he's very concerned about any environmental ramifications or, um, you know, bad effects that could come out of it. But what's wild to me is that there's ex there's so many examples of this already happening. Like Dubai, we actually had an article about this mm -hmm. uh, in uh, at theblaze.com in the past, and people were very interested in it, I think, because it's just it's just so new to them. So there are people trying to perfect this technology even for private use, uh, as uh, as we all sit here. But let's go to the issue of the day, which is, I think the reason this is coming up, we can be honest, yeah. is because a lot of people on the internet and elsewhere are looking at these hurricanes and thinking, you know, I don't trust the government anymore, uh, and I don't trust any institutions anymore, and uh, is this uh, is someone playing playing God here, right? I mean, that is actually something that you find people saying. So when you actually look at this technology and how it works, what do you think of that, Peter? Well, it's a really exciting technology. I mean, especially in regions that are having drought or something like that, if you could increase rainfall and help them. In terms of the bigger question of, are is this getting used to cause storms? 
we don't really see any evidence of that, that these hurricanes were manipulated or, or enlarged by this technology. And I think it would be very hard to try and even steer a storm in a certain direction. Theoretically, you could make a storm worse, but at the moment we don't have any direct evidence that there was any manipulation of it, of these two hurricanes. Peter, you've let me down. <laughs> I was waiting for that big reveal of, yes, it did. And yet here we are, literally just waiting for this. Thanks. Well, well, let's say, let's say, um, for people out there, I mean, what's definitely true is that certainly no one who's in this uh, space knows of the technology. It would have to be right. secret stuff that no right. one knew about uh, that could actually uh, alter the course of a hurricane or do something to the extent that, you know, you just saw in those two hurricanes. But the thing that people should know is it really is true that they can augment and they can make it rain and they can make it rain even worse and to some extent affect weather and people are working on this technology, right? Well, if this is the technology that's 60 years old, who knows what they have, what, how it's progressed and we, what they have and now. And there, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs>